Hello there, friends. Uh, welcome to today's Go Engineer Dental webinar. Uh, dental 3D printing with the Origin One. Automate your way to precision. My name is Richard Cromwell, and for the past several years, I've been diving deep into the innovative world of dental additive manufacturing. As a senior additive manufacturing applications engineer and dental AM specialist at Go Engineer, the world's largest Stratasys Platinum reseller, I've seen firsthand the transformative power of technology like that offered uh, today by the Origin One Dental 3D printer. Who is Go Engineer? Well, who we aren't is just a company that sells 3D printers. We are your trusted partner in the worlds of 3D design and additive manufacturing. We empower you, your employees, your coworkers, and your customers to get the most out of your business's capital investments. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Go Engineer is here to guide you every step of the way. We have over 300 engineers and technical experts on staff spread across 60 offices across the United States and Canada to put our vast technical knowledge into perspective. Um, with Go Engineer as your guide, you'll have access to over a collective millennia of digital design and manufacturing experience to leverage. So now that we're all better acquainted, let's take a step back with a brief reintroduction today of the star of the show, um, the Origin One P3 3D printer. A couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting and interviewing Trey Chamber, the owner of Express Dental Labs in Norman, Oklahoma, about his experiences with the Origin One Dental. Recently, Stratasys recorded a short video with Trey, so let's catch up with him so that he can tell you about his continued experience with this groundbreaking production 3D printer. My name is Trey Chambers and I'm the owner of Express Dental Laboratory, located out of Norman, Oklahoma in the United States. We are a full service lab, so we make all kinds of prosthetics, both removable and fixed. When we started 3D printing, we used a couple different technologies. We would constantly have parts break on these printers, we'd have reliability issues. I wanted something that was reliable, something that consistently produced. So with the Origin One printer, we found finally a printer that would just print hour after hour, day after day, without experiencing failures in our print jobs. The printer is really well built. It's a really nice printer and there's a lot of things that it has within it to control the environment in which you're printing. It was really, really easy to put into our workflow. It has provided the consistent results that we need. We've been able to control our cost per model. The machine is very low maintenance. They also have great validated resins that allow us to produce really, really high quality prints in a short amount of time. So the jobs that we run on the Origin One range from anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. So it has a high production output. We're able to print something very quickly, do it at a affordable price and the product that we're getting is a really, really high quality product. And we're able to use the GrabCAD software to not only control the, the two Origin One printers that we have, but also to control the three J5 printers that we're using. So it's nice to be able to have the operator using one software to control five different uh, pieces of equipment that we're using to manufacture. I would definitely recommend the Stratasys additive manufacturing solutions uh, to any any other lab owner out there. They're constantly innovating and coming up with, with new solutions. We, we've just been blown away with the products and the support that Stratasys has given us uh, over these years. So let's talk a little bit about today's agenda. Um, we're gonna discuss the challenges um, that are involved with manual um, support structure design first. And then we'll dive right into the automated build preparation with uh, the Origin One Dental, and I'll show you the software and how it works, um, how easy it is. And uh, then I want to talk to you a little bit about some accessories that have been released for the Origin One Dental to streamline the workflow. Um, I'll leave a little bit of time for Q&A, and uh, then we'll wrap things up. So the field of dentistry has been going through a transformative shift over the past several years, uh, embracing innovative technologies like intraoral scanning and 3D printing to revolutionize how we create dental models, prosthetics, and surgical guides. Gone are the days of time-consuming and often unpleasant traditional methods. Today, a digital workflow that includes 3D printing offers unmatched precision, speed, and customization, pushing the boundaries of patient care. 
At this point, it's becoming well understood that compared to traditional techniques, DLP 3D printing with the Stratasys Origin 1 offers numerous advantages. Faster turnaround times. So our, we can print models in hours, not days, reducing waiting periods for patients. We offer enhanced accuracy, achieve intricate details and complex geometries, difficult or impossible with manual traditional methods. It's easy to personalize solutions. We can tailor the models to individual patient needs, leading to better fit and functionality and reduced waste. With 3D printing, we minimize material usage compared to traditional casting and milling techniques. The impact of DLP 3D printing extends beyond efficiency and precision. It empowers dentists to improve treatment planning, visualize complex procedures through 3D models, and all of this leads to better outcomes. As the technology continues to evolve, one crucial aspect remains essential, and that's mastering support generation. So let's take a deeper dive into this fundamental step for successful dental DLP printing. Successful dental DLP printing hinges on meticulously designing support structures. These temporary structures anchor the model to the build head during printing. The delicate structures also prevent the model from collapsing or warping during the build. Unfortunately, manual design of support structures for DLP, or more generally, all top-down open vet photopolymerization technologies, can be a very time consuming and tedious process, and this will hinder people's productivity. It requires significant expertise and experience uh, for optimal results. And uh, because it's manual, it's prone to errors and inconsistencies leading to failed prints and wasted material. So understanding and optimizing support generation for top-down OVP requires uh, considering several key factors. Factor one is going to be the model geometry. You have to balance complexity or the intricate features, which are going to demand the most robust support or stability, along with orientation and the surface area, because larger areas and heavier models can require more support points and, and even force distribution. So we want to orient the model strategically to minimize support needs. And we do so by leveraging natural angles that we can print unsupported. Factor two are the material properties. So resin viscosity uh, plays a role. The thicker resins necessitate thicker supports or better adhesion to the build head. Um, also, if they are an elastomer, uh, they're gonna require different support structures and uh, density than if it is a rigid material. Another factor that we need to consider are the printer settings. Um, layer thickness uh, affects how we might um, generate support and design it. The thinner layers require more support density uh, for proper adhesion. And then we also want to be careful about the print speed uh, because higher speeds necessitate stronger supports to withstand the increased forces. So really what it boils down to is the ultimate factor is going to be the um, designer's experience. So while understanding the key factors are crucial, Mastering manual support design and generation goes beyond just simple knowledge. It's going to be the skill and experience of the designer, which plays a significant role in optimizing support structures for successful prints. And you can see the support on the left there is uh, kind of crazy, and it's all over the surfaces of the part that we wouldn't want um, any support scarring when we're removing it, while the, the model on the right is properly supported. So to sum up this section, we know that the struggles of, of manual support generation um, are a problem, and it's a time-consuming and tedious process, and it eats into our valuable production hours. And it's not only frustrating, but it also requires some significant exp expertise to achieve the optimal results. And even then, errors and inconsistencies are common, leading to failed prints and waste of material, and this all impacts your company's bottom line. So think about how much time on average would you say your team spends on manual support generation um, per model? Or how often do you encounter failed prints or mass wasted material due to inadequate support, support structures? So now, fortunately, uh, there's a better way. So introducing GrabCAD Prints automated build preparation for dental applications. It's a revolutionary technology that takes manual geometry analysis, model orientation, support generation, and tray nesting out of the equation. So no more frustration, no more wasted time or material. 
This innovative software utilizes intelligent algorithms to automatically generate optimal support structures for your dental models. The software analyzes your model and material so that it applies template orientation requirements. Um, it'll generate strong, efficient supports tailored to your specific model geometry. And minimal material waste, it eliminates the need for guesswork and over-supporting, saving you valuable resin. And most importantly, you get consistent quality. It ensures reliable, high-quality prints every time, minimizing the risk of failures. So let's do a quick demo. I'll show you the software here. So here we have GrabCAD print. And as you can see, I have uh, four bite splints up there. Interestingly, they've been imported with errors, and this is frequently um, the case where you'll get a mesh model and you'll have um, inverted normals and intersecting surfaces and things like that. As GrabCAD Print um, is their proprietary software for build preparation across all of their different machines, um, it has a, an incredibly robust um, algorithm for repairing files with errors. So we'll just run this real quick. No need to export the files to a different piece of software for repair. That's it, you're done. Okay, so now what we wanna do, I'm gonna show you guys how incredibly easy this is. So we wanna set up our tray. We're gonna set the domain to dental, the application to hard splints. We're gonna change the material. This is something neat. We have 16 materials now um, in our library, including many of the popular keystone resins. And so that's what I like to use. And we will use the key splint hard. And now here's the, some neat, uh, this is a very neat feature. So what we're gonna do is pick our default support profile. Um, so once we have our tray settings all set, this is how easy it is. We've made three clicks essentially, and we're just gonna hit um, tray automation. Okay, now that we have our models completely supported, oriented, and nested together, that was it. These guys are ready to go. So all we need to do at this point would be to send them to the printer. Now, some of you are probably thinking, but what if I want to change something? I have a lot of um, skill uh, doing manual support generation. So is it possible for me to go in and make any changes that I would like to? And the answer is absolutely, of course. Even though um, this template profile is based on um, the best practices document that Stratasys released for generating support for these types of models, and you can see how it goes along the peripheral edge of the uh, of the model. Um, if we wanted to uh, change any of these anchors, all we have to do is um, click on them and move them or click on them and delete them. You can multiple select by shifting, clicking or dragging. But for right now, um, I'm gonna trust the system and uh, send it to the printer. And it will give us a, a bunch of information pertaining to the build, including a picture of the first layer this is important because you want to make sure that it's there. If it's not, that means that your parts are probably not going to stick to the build head. And so once we send it to the printer, So here are some examples of the support that is actually generated by the system. Overall, this, this is a, a very simple and easy solution to a complicated problem. As we strive for excellence in dental 3D printing, um, efficiency and safety are paramount. And so we've had some innovative accessories developed that can really elevate your workflow with the Origin One. Um, one is gonna be the Pro Aero Air Extractor. Uh, this is a very popular unit that has been um, used with some polyjet systems for, for a couple of years now. 
and uh, it's great at helping to mitigate um, any resin fumes. The Origin One now has its own stand, and it's nice because it kind of puts it at um, the right height uh, that is optimum for operators. And then probably the most important accessory, though, are the tray pouring jig, the tray spouts, and um, the tray covers. And I, I actually have this thing set up right here. I want to show it to you because it's one of my favorite things in my lab when it comes to the Origin One. Because all you do when you want to empty your tray is this. And it'll just stay like that. And um, you don't have to stand there and hold this tray over a bottle um, trying to get it into the filter without uh, spilling it all over the place. This just makes uh, switching the materials and the membranes and cleaning your um, vat so much easier. And then also, you know, there's the little spout on there that makes it so it doesn't spill all over the handle. And they have these really neat um, covers now for the trays. They have these rubber gaskets, so they're they're sealed for against light and um, oxygen. So I'm a big fan. Since this webinar centered, centers around the idea of improving workflow and throughput through automation, uh, I thought it would be an excellent opportunity to introduce you to a brand new product that Go Engineer has added to our dental AM technology portfolio from our innovative friends and partners at Post Process Technologies. The new Denny X520 is an automated resin wash system ideal for dental labs running DLP systems or open vat photopolymerization 3D printing technology. So it features intelligent software that simplifies operation, uh, has an innovative axial flow system, which gently yet effectively removes resin without compromising any dental, uh, delicate dental models. And then plus it has an automa automatic lift system uh, which eliminates manual handling, and that all saves you time and ensures consistent results and operator safety. Um, and, and really, that's what it's all about. It's protecting your employees' health and lab uh, environment. So the Demi X520 eliminates harmful IPA from your model washing workflows. It replaces it with post-process technology safe and sustainable PLM403 sub-chemistry. And this is uh, not only beneficial to your health, but it contribute, contributes to a greener environment um, on a whole. So the Demi X520 guarantees safety and efficiency without compromising on quality. It's validated workflows deliver consistent, repeatable results, while automation boosts your throughput and productivity. So experience the difference and elevate your dental post-processing to a whole new level inquire about this brand new machine um, and we'll be happy to share additional information I mean, it just looks cool too so uh well friends as we conclude remember the stratus origin one is not just another uh, 3d printer it is literally a gateway to the future of dental lab production with its automated build preparation enterprise class high resolution printing and streamlined workflows it empowers you to push the boundaries of design and explore complex geometries with intricate detail with confidence. It also allows you to regain precious time and resources with automated processes and streamlined workflows. So thank you all for your attention and interaction today. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to Go Engineer's YouTube channel and follow us on social media. With that, until next time, friends, this is Richard Cromwell, Go Engineer, signing off.